Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So um, today we are going to be doing a DIY. I'm going to be making a hat rack. I'm not sure if it really counts as a hat rack, but that's what we're doing today. So what you're going to need, if for some reason you want to do this yourself, you need a poster board, one of the foam ones. I got this from the Dollar Tree. You're going to need paint if you want to paint yours. Um, in order to make it look cute, you're going to want paint. So just get whatever colors you want. You can get them from Walmart, Joann's, Michael's. Most places are like 50 cents for one of these. So depending on how many colors you want to use, what you want to paint on it, just get whatever, whatever colors you want. You're gonna need hooks to actually hang your hats on. I got these from Dollar Tree and they're pretty cute. They're silver ones. So you're gonna have to grab some of those. I grabbed two packs, so I have 12. Not sure exactly how many I'm gonna use. I might only need one pack, depending on how I'm gonna lay them out, but we'll see. Um, you're going to also need a hot glue gun and some glue sticks, like, you you think I wouldn't have to tell you to get glue sticks, but you know some people forget. And um, my kitty is eating. Hey, sir, why you gotta wait till mommy's filming to eat? If you hear munching in the background, I'm not really that sorry. He's eating. It's good. He oh, he's done. He's right here. You probably can't see him, but. Trust me, he's right here. All right, so first we're going to start off with painting. Um, there's a lot of different ways for you to paint this. You can follow a Bob Ross tutorial like other people have been doing if you want like a really pretty background. Obviously, it's gonna be covered by hats, so it doesn't really need to be that pretty. I'm gonna do some sort of like pour situation on it, just pouring the paint on and swishing it around, which is why I have this box to catch my mistakes. Hopefully my cats don't step on it and track paint all over the apartment because they would they would do that. Okay, so first I gotta decide what colors I want to use. Multiple blues, because blue's my favorite color, white because it's a neutral color, and uh, purple because it's also another cute color, and you know, purple is made out of blue and red, and looks my favorite color, so purple's like half of my favorite color, which probably sounds dumb, but you're welcome. And let's get started with dripping some paint. Should I have opened these before I started filming? Yes. Did I? No. Okay, now just start pouring it all over the place go crazy. If you want to do other paint methods, you can like YouTube someone else painting something actually, you know, detailed and pretty. Or you can just copy what I'm doing. to start just spreading the paint around. You could use a brush for this because it'll make less noise, but uh, just using the spatula thing, you're welcome.
Okay, next up is to just let this dry. Um, acrylic paint tends to dry pretty quickly, so it shouldn't take too long if you have a lot of paint on your canvas or poster board, whatever you use. So you just have to wait. You can test it by touching it in spots that look wet. If you use paint that is glossy, it's all gonna look wet. Um, I didn't use any glossy paint, so I should be able to tell from just looking at it if there are spots that look particularly wet. So I will see you guys when this looks all dry. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed watching what I was doing while I was waiting. It took longer to dry than usual because, of course, I used so much paint. And it did warp it a bit, which I know that happens when you use too much paint, but I never learn. So it's all warped, but it's fine. It's still going to be cute. So I just took the hooks, which they're self-adhesive hooks, so the adhesive should work, but the glue gun's there just in case they don't. Um, you can arrange the hooks however you want it right now. I have it, you know, so this is Horizontal, but if you want it vertically you can change the orientation of the hooks depending on how much room you have Where it's gonna be in your house. I haven't even thought about where I'm gonna put this yet So I'm not even sure if this is gonna be the right way, but yeah so you just Peel the back off. They have like special instructions <sighs> Clean mounting surface thoroughly and dry. Remove liner and position as desired. Press firmly against the surface. Best use, wait 24 hours before first use. Well, we're not following most of those instructions. Okay, and there you go. I just peeled off the back, stuck them on, 
Um, you can measure if you'd like them to be super even, but when you have all your hats on it, you're not gonna be able to tell.